excuse me, sir, what is your quirk? My quirk is I can make any millionaire poor. From riches to rags, baby. Riches to mother trucking rags. I'd love that power. Bro, what are you gonna do with it? I don't know if I'd use it on billionaires, but there's a couple people that I kind of really hate. You know, it's those people that you don't hate enough to kill them, but you hate them enough where you just kind of sit here like, man, I hope, I hope you wake up and your phone not charged. I hate me. Ain't that a freaking mood? Ah, you don't hate me? That's fine, I'll do it my freaking self while I'm crying in my room with my freaking headphones listening to my depressed music. I'm glad you're happy. That, that, that's a good thing. Just just pure happiness. Just being an absolutely perfect fluff ball. Because I cannot do it. I got a basic training, and I kid you not, my happiness left with the milk and is not coming back. Oncoming traffic, so appeal... So appealing that sedan that uh, uh, oh, I had to reset what the frick Oncoming traffic so appealing that a sedan might steal my first kiss My jeans off about getting hit by a car for his first kiss I'm sitting here imagining my head like falling into a meat grinder as it slowly go from your toes down to your balls, you are most definitely still alive if shock didn't knock you out. Even if adrenaline's pumping, I don't think it's gonna stop you from feeling that. So, once your package starts being, once you start getting turned into a woman, <laughs> you get to feel every like little nice little sensation of that before you die. Oh my God. Jesus Christ. God damn! Just come, when your mom comes in the room, just... I, you've been in there all day. It's time to come out and get some fresh hair, air and take a shower. She gets in and you're dead. She's like, oh my God. But then when she walks up to the freaking screen, all you hear, all you hear from the screen is just... Oh, oh, oh. What are you gonna do? I ain't gonna lie. If that happens to me, I might have to come back from the dead to turn that bullcrap off. I can't go out like this. <laughs> it's so hard to not swear around kids. And I don't even say like the curse words, curse words, right? I just speak and say, frick, God damn it, hell. They want me to stop. I'm just like, okay, we got two options. I either say, frick, God damn it, hell. Or I'm going to say, fuck, shit, bitch. Sometimes I'd be on top of like tall buildings, right? And y'all don't, will you just look off, right? And they'll just be in your head just like, I wonder if I fell from this, would it kill me? I had that feeling on like the rappel tower in Fort Benning, like the, like it's that, you probably search up, it's like a big wooden tower. You climb up a stupid wooden ladder and you like, you rappel off ropes and just keep jumping down until you hit the ground. That's where I was like, I wonder if I fell off of this, would it kill me or would like i just be seriously in injured intrusive thoughts trying to become impulsive thoughts i ain't got no armor because this smart truck is a floating citadel but then again most of the japanese ships i play are i freaking was playing the oba earlier right i took three shots right the whole game i dodged everything else those three shots was a citadel every time not no over penetration, not a break, not a ricochet. That crap go in at whatever angle, at whatever velocity, at whatever shell size. And it was like, oh, no, nope, there goes half your health. Get fricked, frick. You must put your head to the stone and grind to get what you desire. Your digital warship waifu who definitely loves you and no one else. When I hype myself up with music, I'm not gonna lie, for some reason, I run. I like to run around my house in circles like a hamster and it's freaking hype. Now, you take the headset off, you get down, you go in, you go in. I mean, you go in. And then you're like, you're down there, you're tapping, you're at it, you're working hard as frick. My hand is in my head. My, you ain't gonna stop me. But yeah, you flipping, you, you're cooking, you're shaking and baking. You look at the finished product and it's trash. It sucks, this didn't happen to me. I'm not talking about me. Just cause you worked hard on it doesn't mean it's good. 
and you have to throw it away. Now, do you get back up and shake and bake again? Or do you cry to yourself in your bed? Now, if you're anything like me, you probably cried in your bed. And sir, you see, that is my excuse for being late to work today. So, if you didn't know, I love cars. Unfortunately, I have the most awful luck with my said cars, but I do love cars. I put a payment down on a 2006 Lexus IS250 all-wheel drive. 220,000 miles, you know? At the end of its life, but it still ran. It had the fancy little iPad screen. It was cool, right? It made him mad with me with how many I hit one day. I, okay, a little, little tiny rant. If you're hitting the Citadels and World of Warships, guess what you're doing? Especially if you're playing co-op. You are killing everyone. And if you are killing everyone, where's my kills? I want, I want to sip from the breast of greatness and money and XP. Where is my sip? While you're over there killing everything. I'm going here doing my service fees. I put on my boosters. I got everything set up for this next game to watch you go and kill everything. It was either buying that Lexus or buying this BMW X5. We drive the BMW first because it's up there first. That goddamn BMW. I get in it. I drive it. It's knocking. You can feel some- oh frick. You can feel the drive shaft because it was also all-wheel drive. You can feel like components of the drive shaft rattling around because they're barely freaking secured to the car. Um, and it, no, that thing was- and I hit the gas, it barely wants to go. So, I, I, I drive it back. As soon as I'm pulling into like the parking lot, no joke, I put it in park, the goddamn headlight went out and the check engine light came on i he said i could have that bmw for whatever i wanted it for and honest to god i would have taken it i would have taken the title for the for whatever he was asking if i did not already in the garage have a broken nissan altima so i go ahead and get the lexus obviously but no joke when i freaking had that lexus i never drove my ranger again I was literally in the lap of luxury. Oh my god, I miss, I miss my car. I was always wondering what they do if the MO like used, put another turret right there. And the Satsuma practically does that. And also it's a super ship, so it's 200,000 credits when you fight. And I am broke. I had a friend who played with went with I was a uh, DD main and he was a CV main both of us got screwed we sort of left I feel that because it's kind of just like bro it's mainly because people complain because a lot of people just don't have the skill to fight against things and I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna go ahead and be a hypocrite my behind be complaining too <laughs> I'm part of the problem sometimes. So sometimes I'll be sitting there chilling and I just get nuked by a submarine that just shot like eight torpedoes at me. And I'd be like, this is bull crap. This is garbage. This is an outrage. I want a refund. Even though in the game was free. <laughs> torpedoes hit me, but you went in a straight line. I don't care. I don't care. I went in a straight line. But the, those, the, if, if he's gonna hit me, I should be able to attack back. If I'm gonna be attacked, I should have the ability to fight back. No questions. I, I, I will take nothing else. And so now all these ships have, even these bow ships have the ability to call in depth charges. If you're a submarine and you're seen, you're royally screwed. Cause being a submarine player is no joke. That crap is stress in a package. The hybrid USA one. Frick those freaking hybrid ships. They make no sense to use the half of my carrier. I have to give up the half of my battleship that I have. So I have to leave the battleship in the battle to fly my plane. And even worse than that, I have to wait like a minute and 30 before my planes are ready. I've lost two guns and now I have this massive superstructure that I can burn from the ground from. And you gonna make me wait a minute and 30. You just saw how good I am in it. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, you're good in it. Okay, maybe that's it. I'm sorry. It's not It's not the ship. It's not the ship. I just suck. Forgive me. Forgive me. I I, I forget. I forget. I may just suck. I, I was able to get range. It is my speaker. One second, you freaking freak. 
Shut the frick up. They may F me up in the long run. Damn! We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna ignore that. What about World of Tanks? Oh my god, bro. <clears throat> we, we didn't penetrate their armor. That one bounced. Ricochet. I was sitting here thinking in my... Thinking in this little brain of mine that I'll get the midway and it's all gonna be better. It's gonna be great. Make carriers great again, you know? It was gonna be beautiful. That crap sucks. And I was like, okay, maybe it's just the midway. They have a super ship called the United States. That goddamn thing whipped me over the freaking counter and took my shoes. Ozzy Enterprise. I love her so much. In Belfast? Belfast? No joke. Belfast freaking had my soul. And I no joke. That was what led me down this rabbit hole of anime. And you wanna know where the light led me? The light led me to this bullcrap called VTubing. You heard about it? It led me here. The light, Belfast, turned me into this. I found the light. Look at me. Look at me. Look what it's done to me. I don't regret, I regret nothing. Now, my Lexus, my IS-250 all-wheel drive from 2006. Okay, I was stuck making like at max like 300 horsepower. Like just no, almost no potential, not because it couldn't be done, but, but because it was just unpractical. Start on, ow! Start out on PC, switch to console, and now back on PC. Congratulations, you found the G-spot of gaming. I hope to I have done y'all justice in my training arc of being a better- Damn! Oh, oh no, my headset went out. No, no. So this is horrific. Ignore the fact that I've been folded into a pretzel. So a track, no joke, the tracking just went out. No freaking, no way. Yeah, I got the car. I've shown it off. It's all good. It works fine. I start trying to maintain the car, trying to clean the car. I went to an exhaust shop and got my mufflers cut off. And when I tell you I was the happiest man alive, my family hated it. But I was the happiest man alive. I had heated and air conditioned seats. They were all electric. Power mirrors, bro. I had cruise control, a sunroof. Like, oh my god, and I had this big screen in the middle that I could use Apple CarPlay on. Only issues I had from the freaking car is like the rear differential was leaking. I asked my own dealership at Nissan if they could help me fix it. Well, at least my coworker offered to flipping, you know, help me. I even asked if I could just take a bay and do it myself. My boss, I, I don't care, I don't care anymore. They fired me, I don't care. My boss was a prick. He told me no, okay, I'm fine with that. It's just the way he told me no, and then continued to explain why he was telling me no in a rude way. He kept talking from his goddamn office where he was sitting to my freaking car. I bring it into Toyota. They look at it as like, dog, that's a Lexus. I was like, mm hmm I took it to Lexus. I felt dirty. I don't, I, I never felt that way. The way Lexus made me feel walking in, I felt like I should have cleaned myself before I walked in. And I feel like my car was a disgrace being there. Cause you get all these nice, new, wonderful Lexuses. And then you just hear me and my flipping clapped out 250 with my cut off mufflers. I remember, I, cause I was sitting in the waiting room and I knew I wasn't even in the same room as it, but I could hear when my car started up when they were moving it. And I'm just sitting there. It was like, it had glass too, so you could see which car is moving around. And I'm sitting here, all I hear is and I'm sitting like, oh God, please don't let that be my car. And there's people just looking at me. I'm just sitting there with my hands together, just looking down, just like, not me, not me, not me. It's not my car. I don't know whose car that is. They said it was going to be 200 something dollars to look at my car. Could you just, can I just pay for the fix? No, the way it operated, I had to pay for the diagnosis. Then I had to pay for the fix. I, I left and I just went to Jiffy Lube. Then I went, just went under, took some gear oil and just pumped some in. And it wasn't even that empty. It wasn't even leaking that bad. It was just leaking. 
I did something stupid in the car. So I was pulling out of the grocery store with my little sister. I pull out to go left. I did not see this one minivan coming, right? And I was just like, oh frick, there's a van coming. So I just floor it. And so it just goes, and I just zoom in front of this van, cut them the frick off. Now, I feel immensely awful about this, because I was like, damn, that could have been awful. We almost had a crash there. So I, at the next stop sign, right? I'm going to apologize to these people, right? It was an elderly couple. They stopped that mother trucker in the passenger seat, flicked me off. I dropped that mother trucker into gear, hit, floored it, hit all the way to 6K, zoom right, because it's a two lane road and we're both going the same way. Zoom past them while going past them, flick them off, turn in front of them, cut them off, and then hit several corners and ran away. I was talking to my little sister. I looked at her, I was like, she was all surprised. I was like, even if I flicked them off, still remember this, I still wish them a Merry Christmas. I had a very unwise decision. It was that, it, I don't know what it was. I just, I got so angry so quick. And then as quickly as the anger came, it left. So there was this one day, my friend and his girlfriend, right? He wanted to go to a sex toy shop. He wanted me to drive him and his girlfriend down there to the sex toy shop, start it up, loud as frick. But since it was my first time showing him the car, I was like, let me show this mother trucker off a little bit. I'm showing off my car being a, a dumb teenager, you know? We get to the, we get to the sex toy shop. Car, car did its job. I impressed my friend. I'm on my way home. Finally, after getting dropping them off, I'm on the phone with my little sister talking. I'm gonna get pick up food for us and we're gonna hang out and watch One Piece. While I'm going through this tunnel, right? I heard this weird whine. Like it was it was like eh, and I was sitting there like, what the frick was that? And I'm I'm turning and when I get to the next stoplight, I notice my air condition shuts down and my AC light is just flashing on and off, on and off. And I'm like, oh, something's wrong. And I'm talking to my little sister about it. I get to the Taco Bell parking lot. I park the car. I try to turn the AC back on. Don't work, stays off. I'm like, okay. I turn the car off, turn the car back on. Then I hit the AC. Car, the car like, the RPM spike like went and then it just shut off, right? I'm like, okay, that's weird. I turn it back on. I hit the AC, engine starts doing its weird thing, and while it's doing that, I hit the gas. I'm just, I hit the gas, it goes and I'm just, I heard this awful, like, grinding noise or something. And then my engine dies. And it's not like the engine just shut off, it just goes down, like I hit the button I I to turn it on. All I hear, I get out, I pop the hood, I look in, everything seems normal. I get back in, crank it. I can hear it cranking. I can even hear it because it's got no muffler. I can hear it from the exhaust. It, like, it's actually compressing and firing a couple times. Like, <laughs> like it's trying to run, but it's it just can't. I actually had paid off more than half of the car, and but I had this decision, right? I, I was in this stupid freaking position. I just been fired from my job. There's no more money coming in. I've got the money for my next payment saved up, but it's all I got. So I can either A, pay for the car or fix the car. It's got to go to the dealership. Whatever's wrong with it, I just knew I couldn't fix it. If a Toyota is cranking like, but it's not starting, it means it's over. I send him the last payment. He tows, he comes and tows it back. That actually was not the last time I saw that car. I saw it on Facebook and Facebook Marketplace for sale again for $800. And it was like, ran to a park, um, does not start, maybe low compression or fuel. And I was sitting there thinking, holy crap, I dodged a freaking bullet. Cause from the way it was sounding, it sounded expensive. Okay, can't wait to see you again. Bye. Have a good sleep. I hope your pillow is cold and your sheets are warm. Good night.